you know, your goblet squats, your standard swings, your, uh, your deadlift technique with the kettlebell. Team, it's T Banks here coming back at you with another workout vlog. I just want to get into it. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. In three, two, one. All right, guys, so we're starting out this kettlebell only workout with our diagonal press with a step up on it's like a medium-ish box okay so i'm power stepping up I'm trying to power step as best you can so reach over hold it for maybe a second or two work that anti-rotational core strength and then push off when you step with that opposite foot that's that foot that's back is going to step up on the box and going to push all the way through and kick that knee high up down to control now this movement is harder than it looks Okay, I always, I feel like it's like almost cardio when you're doing this exercise. So um, take your time, cause with anything that's this, you know, repetitive and you know, you start getting out of breath, you start fatiguing, I don't want you guys to fall off the box. So don't go too fast in the beginning, take your time, because there was a couple times in here where I kind of hopped a little bit, I wasn't really balanced, and I was very like, you know, had to catch myself a little bit. So. Take your time, push power up, and try to stick it though. Try to make sure you're intentional about the movement. Your shoulders are relaxed, your traps are not hiking up. When you start getting tired, relax your shoulders. Keep the kettlebell tight to your body, screw the lats by stabilizing your shoulder and that, um, you know, squeezing your shoulders down and back. And then step, drop. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so that's that. Shake it out. Grab a heavier kettlebell. I'm not gonna tell you guys what weight. I'm not I'm not a trainer that really kind of harps on weights and reps and all that. I just kind of go with, I go with feel personally a lot. Um, and I encourage you guys to as well. So go with um, like a moderate, like a moderate heavy weight, I'll say that. Uh, for your, just your, your body type and um, you know where your fitness level is at, moderate heavy-ish, and do what we're doing here. We're swinging and stepping, right? So kettlebell swings, you guys have seen these before. Swing and step. After every swing, you're kind of stepping over, you gotta coordinate that movement, drive it up, boom, get to the top. Do not swing it too far overhead, all right? Just get to about shoulder length, and engage the core, squeeze the glutes, with that hip with that hip hinge, okay? Making some friends, y'all to work it out. Alright. Next thing you got, we're gonna grab two lighter kettlebells. Okay, so I'm gonna say like a, maybe from like two, three pounds to like um, maybe max like 15. Um, I, I have 10s personally, uh, but again, pick your weight that works well with you. Hold it bottoms up to stabilize it in the overhead position. You can see I'm shaking because I'm working to stabilize the weight up. So you're getting that double work in. So you're getting legs obviously because you're stepping, but you're also working on some, some, some shoulder stability and some overhead pressing strength with that whole top. And the other side, the other kettlebell is like down below. And you're just trying to get that kind of alternating, um, that contralateral work going on, just to kind of work the, the muscles in a different way. Take your time. Yes. Next thing up, you guys. We're gonna grab that same kettlebell that we had for the, those power step ups that we did in the beginning. Grab that same one, and we're going to row in a, RDL, in a single leg RDL position. We're gonna row, 
What I would do is put that opposite hand either on your leg or on your like your stomach. And if that's if that's too hard, put the hand out and your arm out as kind of like a balance bar because that's going to help you create more more kind of space to help you uh, position yourself better. But if you're able to balance, then put your hand on your stomach or your leg and roll in this position here. Awesome. For this single leg RDL, guys, make sure you are hinging from the hips and you're not leaning with the lower back. In the beginning, I kind of, I'm kind of hunched over a little bit, but make that adjustment. There you go, straight out the back a little bit. Hinge your weights on your heel, just like any deadlift, just like any hinge or any squat that we talk about. You're hinging from the hip, the hips going back first, right? So try to keep your back straight. I can, I can definitely be a little straight. I'm leaning a little bit, you guys, on this one. But really put, I should be pushing into that left heel, really, and rolling in control position. So I should be probably bending my knees a little bit more so I can be in a straighter back position. But that's what we got. You guys, so that was mainly a kettlebell workout. Not mainly, it was, it was all kettlebell workout. So those exercises I chose, you may have not seen some of them before. They're very um, fancy, right? I added some different components. Like for example, that swing, added some lateral steps and coordination work in there. So to me, it was a little bit more athletic. Um, so I would definitely go back to the basics with kettlebells, you know, your goblet squats, your standard swings, your, uh, your deadlift technique with the kettlebell. Go back to the basics if those are too like hard, okay? That overhead press one, it, it looked like that was a light 10 pound kettlebell that I had, but try it. Like try holding it up there without it tilting over. It takes incredible shoulder scap um, stability, you guys. Like I've worked a long time on that just to even hold a 10 pound. Um, with that being said, I've actually, you know, believe it or not, um, like I have like a little bit of scoliosis. I've learned in the past, uh, I learned that like maybe three, four years ago. Um, I got a little bit of uh, scoliosis in my lower back. And so when I move, it actually, you may have seen me like hopping in some of those exercises because I was just trying to like stabilize my body. I have to be super intentional about um, setting myself up in the right position before I start moving in any exercise. Because if I'm not, I'm off balance and it looks like I look tilted, okay? So if, if you've ever been around me like working out or if you guys know me like, you know, or if you ever like ran track with me, like it's like, oh, why is she a little bit off? Like why is she like tilted? Why is she like, I don't know a little one balance, you know, when maybe I, maybe I would have looked athletic or maybe I look like I'm, um, like I'm strong or whatever, but at the end of the day, like if you're not balanced, you don't have that control, like you're not going to be able to, to, um, to tap into that strength or tap into that power or tap into that speed, right? So I struggle with that, like in my whole sports career and I used to wonder why I was like off all the time and it's because I have a little bit of scoliosis. And so, um, yeah, so when I move and look at some of those exercises, how I'm like hopping around, I struggle a little bit with that, you guys. Um, so nobody's perfect. Everybody has something that's a little off. Um, so just be assured that um, if I struggle with it, then don't feel, don't feel bad with, your, with some of your functional issues as well. Because um, I'm still working on making myself the most functional that I can be. I'm still working on it. Um, and I've been doing this stuff my entire life, okay? So um, stay focused, stay in it. Don't be discouraged when you're struggling with something. Um, just have fun and, and do the best you can and, and um, track your progress and get excited about your progress, okay? That's all I have for you today. If you missed the last video, um, definitely go back and check that one out. It has a, there's a different workout for you guys there. And there's workouts every week, every Monday and Thursday we got videos now, so we're at it today because we just love you guys so much. I wanna, wanna provide you guys um, workouts twice a week now. So every Monday, Thursday, tune in and um, you guys have your workout for the, for the day. So check out that video uh, over in this area here. Go ahead and click on it. Click on it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. All right. Awesome. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.